Welcome to the 2017 Car Magazine Performance Shootout, where we take 12 of the very latest sports cars and not only track test them at Kalani Raceway, but take them on an epic three-day road trip. Dion, rear engine and rear wheel drive. It must have been fun or not? It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Could have a lot of fun racing these. Volvo's new Polestar with its four-cylinder engine instead of the previous six-cylinder. Let's see what Dion thinks. I prefer this engine. It feels more Swedish. Very good G-forces and so on. Maybe it could do a little bit more power for the lap time. This car is so different. It's so American. It feels put together by somebody that are coming from it from a, a different frame of reference to the German cars, but still people understand exactly what needs to be done. So while this car isn't as quick as the others, it, it's certainly the most entertaining. But initially I was like, no, I think the M3 is better because it's got more power and does a better lap time. But this is easier, more involving, and actually enough. Where the big cars are intimidating, once you've done the lap, you go, okay, I did a lap, let's go and park it. This car, I feel like driving it some more now. Amazing engine, amazing brakes. It's a bit heavy, you know? I don't know, I think maybe this might be the car I'd like the most out of all these cars. <laughs> it's doing everything, you know, like a GTR does. It's got excellent brakes, a very nice gearbox, um, just like a BMW's gearbox. It's a, it's a four-wheel drive car, it feels like a rear-wheel drive car. It draws you into braking late, so it's giving you lots of confidence. As you turn in it, oversteer, it's just like a rear-wheel drive car, but it puts the power down like that, like a four-wheel drive car. It's everything the M2 is, just better. Uh, we've got a 21.5, which is a second and a half faster than the M3. If it goes sideways, it's quite easy to, to catch it, so it's, a, it's, an e it's not a very difficult car to drive. Uh, a little bit disappointed with the lap time, but I think it's to do with the tyres. They are um, semi-slicks and I think they uh, want to be run a little bit more, maybe. But other than that, it's an amazing car. It it's like, oh, it's got fantastic brakes. It's really hard to fault, um, especially because it's so easy to drive. Here and there, you can feel a slight like understeer or whatever, but at the end of the day, it's just magnificent. With these lap times in the bag, finally, it's time to hit the open road. Performance Shootout 2017, up uh, Detroit's Clue Pass first, early this morning, 6.30 start. We've been up Mitchell's Pass, we're in series now. We've got Hado Pass to look forward to. We've got an amazing mix of cars as you'll see around here. There were two pieces of asphalt that really stood out for us. The road from Mikey's Fontaine through to the Karoo town of Sutherland and Puck Hayes Pass outside Clan William is the backdrop of a spectacular sunset shoot. Uh, today we focus more on photography, uh, more of a short road trip, Clan William through to Langebaan. Uh, we're here today shooting our cover shoot. Now, one of the critical things that we do end up at a place like this, and we're at Saldana Airstrip to do 0 to 100 times. We'll do um, a quarter mile sprint, a kilometer sprint, and also brake testing. The um, Audi, as usual, is, you know, those things perform in any conditions, and it's turned in a ridiculous time. It's gone sub three seconds to 100, which is uh, a first for a car magazine. Next, we've got our drag races where we'll have. A couple of uh, left wheel ones, including one with that little Smart 4 too. Okay, it's a case of biggest versus smallest for this drag race. We're gonna give the Smart a four second start. Okay, this one really should be close. Two Germans, very closely priced. My money's on. Actually, I don't know which gonna win here. It's been a very memorable four days for the car team. Read all about it in our bumper January 2017 issue.